Hi, this is Dr. Rudresh. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Medical Microbiology Guide. Please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. In this session, I will be discussing on the acidometric method of carbapenemis detection and subsequently I will be uploading the video demonstration of the same. The principle of acidometry is when a substance is hydrolyzed and if the end product is acidic, the indicator which is present in the system will change its color. It was used for the detection of pencil nasus and rapid carbohydrate fermentation test for fastidious organisms like gonococci and meningococci. We know all the beta-lactam antibiotics, they have a common type of ring is called as the beta-lactam ring. Beta-lactam ring can be hydrolyzed by various types of beta-lactam enzymes. The end product of hydrolysis of the beta-lactam ring by beta-lactam enzymes will be acidic. Example, if penicillin is hydrolyzed by pencil nasus, so the end product will be pencilinoic acid. If imipenem is hydrolyzed by carbapenemases, the end product will be imipenoic acid. Using the same principle, CLSI has recommended the carby NP as the confirmatory test for detection of the carbapenemases in gram-negative bacteria. So, subsequently, I will be explaining all the requirements and the procedure for doing the carbine P test. We require consumables like sterile universal container, at least 30 ml capacity. We, re we require 6. Sterile water for injection, 100 ml. Pipettes, a variable adjust adjustable uh, pipettes. 2 to 20 microliter, 20 to 200 microliter, 100 to 1000 microliter. Tips like 200 microliter tips and 1000 microliter capacity tips. We require 1.5 ml ependor tubes. Two tubes are required for each test. Hence, you need to calculate the num required number of tubes for the number of tests you are doing. The chemicals which are required for the preparation of solutions are zinc sulfate heptahydrate, phenol red powder, sodium hydroxide pellet, concentrated hydrochloric acid and the imipenem silastatin injectable powder. Equipments required are pH meter, vertex machine, incubator and weighing machine. We also require Bunsen burner nichrome straight wire loop, rack and discarding jar. So, we require positive control that is Klebschel pneumonia ATCC 1705, negative control Klebschel pneumonia ATCC 1706. Test strains you have to grow on nutrient agar for up to 18 to 24 hours. They should be fresh. If you are using the clinical isolates which are isolated from the samples so then we have to use 18 to 24 hours growth on blood agar we have to prepare four solutions before we start preparing the actual solutions used for the test we need to prepare 0.5 ml of a 0.5% phenol red solution so here we add 50 mg of the phenol red powder to 10 ml of distilled water to give a final concentration of 0.5% phenol red solution. So 10 millimoles zinc sulfate is prepared by adding 28.8 mg of zinc sulfate to 10 ml of distilled water. 0.1 N NaOH is prepared by adding 40 mg of the NaOH pellet to 10 ml of the distilled water. And 10% hydrochloric acid is prepared by adding 1 ml of the HCl to 9 ml of distilled water. The 
sodium hydroxide solution and hydrochloric acid is required for the adjustment of the pH and the phenol red indicator and zinc sulfate for the preparation of the solution. So this is the all the four solutions which I discussed. All these solutions can be kept for up to one year at room temperature. Now let's see how to prepare the solution A. Preparation of all the solutions in this video, I have you. Uh, I suggest to use the sterile water for injection which is available in the hospitals. For preparation of solution A, we have to take 16.6 ml of the injectable sterile water into a sterile container, add 2 ml of the 0.5% phenol red solution and 180 microliter of 10 millimol zinc sulfate solution. So finally this solution pH has to be measured. If the pH is very low, it has to be adjusted to 7.8 by adding the sodium hydroxide solution. If the pH is very high, you add a drop of hydrochloric acid to adjust the pH again to 7.8. Each time you have to measure the pH with the pH meter. If you don't have pH meter, then you can visually adjust the pH. Here you are going to add alkali or acid till the solution changes its color, just changes its color. Say for example, if the color of the solution A is yellow when it is prepared, it means it is acidic. So you add the NaOH solution drop by drop so that it just changes the color from yellow to red. Stop at that point and the pH will be almost to neutral because the phenol red will be will start becoming red at pH 7 or 7.5. Solution B is prepared by adding 1 ml of solution A with 6 mg of imipenem powder. CLSA recommends to use standard grade imipenem powder which is very costly. So, I am using an alternative imipenem silastatin powder which is available in the hospitals. So, each vial of the imipenem silastatin powder contain, contains 1 gram. So, each gram will be containing 500 mg of imipenem and 500 mg of silastatin. So, if you want a 6 mg of imipenem for 1 ml of the solution B, then we need to weigh 12 mg of imipenem silastatin powder to compensate the silastatin component of the this particular vial. Now we will see the test procedure. So for each strain we require two 1.5 ml ependroff tubes. So you label the tubes as A and B and also write the bacterial identification number on the tubes. In tube A add 200 microliter of sterile water for injection. Then emulsify 2 to 3 loopful of colonies and make a heavy suspension. The suspension should be milky. Then alicot 100 ml of this inoculum or this is suspension to tube B and so now both tube A and tube B will be containing 100 ml of the, the sus bacterial suspension. Now add 100 microliter of solution A to the tube marked A and 100 microliter of the solution B to the tube marked B and then incubate the tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for up to 2 hours. So incubation should not be done more than 2 hours. Reading should be taken at 30 minutes and at 
2 hours so i prefer to take the reading at 30 minute because most of the carbapenemases in indian scenario it will be metallobitalectomases so metallobitalectomases will give the result within 30 minutes hence i prefer to take a reading of the test at 30th minute and then i am going to incubate it further for up to 2 hours so if the test is negative at 30th minute we have to see at 2 hours because some of the oxacillinases like oxa and oxa type of enzymes they actually give result late because of the weak imipenem hydrolysis now we'll see how to interpret the reaction if the tube a is red or orange and tube b is also red or orange then the test is interpreted as negative if the tube a is red or orange and if the tube b has turned to yellow then the test is considered positive if the tube a is orange or light orange or yellow and tube b of any color the test should be considered as invalid so in this particular test so we i used the atcc klebsiella pneumoniae 1705 as positive control and it has given a very nice change in the color of tube b and the test strain which was an e coli isolate which was carboplatin resistant and the klebsiella pneumoniae atcc 1706 which was a negative control so it has not changed any color for the tube b so i hope you enjoyed this video so subsequently i'll be uploading the video demonstration of the same thank you for watching this video please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos